The second generation Pathfinder has been in production since 1996 with an intermediate restyling in 2001. Release discontinued in 2004. The car proved to be strong and reliable. Pathfinder 4 generation debuted in 2012. He completely lost his off-road positions and became a crossover. And this Nissan reached the Russian market only by the middle of 2014. Moreover, we only sell cars of local, St. Petersburg, assembly. The fourth generation Nissan Pathfinder is a large Monaco crossover with independent all-wheel suspension and a simplified all-wheel drive transmission with two WD, auto or four WD modes. And the Pathfinder 3 has a powerful spar frame integrated into the body. However, its suspensions are also independent. But this is a real, uncompromising SUV. Under normal driving conditions, the torque is transmitted to the rear wheels, 2H mode, and in auto mode, the front wheels are connected by an interaxle clutch. In positions 4H and 4 low, the connection between the front and rear axles is rigid. 4 low mode implies a downshift in the transmission. Interwheel locks are replaced by electronics that slow down the slipping wheels. The car's arsenal includes a 2.5-liter turbo diesel 4, 174 horsepower, and a 4.0-liter V6 petrol, 269 horsepower. A 6-speed manual or 5-speed automatic transmission was combined with the base engine. For the gasoline version, only an automatic is provided. We are dominated by dealer cars, but sometimes there are also those brought from abroad. Pathfinder is designed for 5 or 7 passengers, who are placed in 2 or 3 rows of seats. The salon is spacious and comfortable. Ergonomics are not bad, although the steering wheel is adjustable only in height, and the manual transmission lever does not shine with the clarity of work in short strokes. But the possibility of transforming the cabin deserves praise. Both rear rows and even the back of the front passenger seat fold down, and the rear window opens separately from the tailgate. The equipment of dealer cars will also please. The initial version of XE, with a 2.5-liter engine, had six airbags, a dynamic stabilization system, dual-zone climate control, heated mirrors and front seats, power accessories, and a CD radio. The SE variant was additionally equipped with a third row of seats, cruise control, CD changer, rain and light sensors. The LE package had additional air conditioning for rear passengers, leather interior, sunroof, power front seats and bi-xenon headlights. Nissan Pathfinder can be considered quite reliable. Two of his generations have already been ill with many childhood diseases. Many, but not all. The 174 horsepower turbo diesel is not only the most common engine in the range, but also the most trouble-free. If you refuel with high-quality fuel, there will be no breakdowns. True, over time, by 80,000 kilometers, injection nozzles usually begin to tap. As a rule, flushing helps, but if the knock does not disappear, the nozzles have to be changed. Expensive, but still it is better to contact the officials or a specialized service equipped with modern equipment, since the nozzles have an identification number and, after installation, must be registered in the onboard computer. The petrol 6 is also, in general, reliable, but suffers from one ailment, however, very unpleasant. It is demanding on fuel quality, so much so that due to the wrong gasoline, it may require major repairs. The fact is that the surrogate, or rather, its unburned part, settles in the catalyst and, accumulating there, ignites. After combustion, the remaining ceramic dust is sucked back into the cylinders and destroys the engine. Imagine that the mirror of the cylinders was walked with sandpaper. There are no complaints about the operation of a manual gearbox, which cannot be said about the machine. The box cooling circuit is built into the engine radiator and may depressurize over time. Antifreeze that gets into the transmission will sooner or later disable the machine. In the all-mode 4WD all-wheel drive transmission, after three to four years of operation, the drive shaft cross wears out. The rear gearbox can also fail, and racing on asphalt in 4H mode destroys the transfer case. There are no surprises in the fully independent suspension, unless the ball bearings are changed as an assembly with the lever and the racers can withstand no more than 40,000 km shock absorbers and wheel bearings of the rear wheels fail by 100,000 km. The latter are replaced as an assembly with the hub and ABS sensors. Engine. The turbo diesel with the timing chain drive has proven to be reliable. To extend the life of the engine, you should fill in high-quality fuel and change the air filter more often. The petrol V6 is even more discerning in terms of gasoline quality. 
the surrogate destroys the catalysts and the engine itself. Transmission. Regularly check the level and quality of the oil in the machine. If traces of antifreeze are found, contact the service immediately. Do not ignore extraneous sounds from the bowels of the transmission. The rear gearbox often fails, which, before breaking down, gives itself out with a rattle and clang when starting off or breaking. Body. The paintwork is not durable, and chrome parts begin to bloom even on fresh copies. The windshield washer nozzles are poorly located, they freeze in the cold. Condensation forms due to poor thermal insulation of the roof. Suspension. In the front suspension with transverse levers, the weak point is the ball joint, which comes complete with the lever. It rarely withstands more than 50,000 kilometers. The steering rack also does not differ in durability, so the appearance of knocks in it should alert. The rear suspension has a design that is rare for a car of this class. It is an independent double wishbone. And by the way, hassle-free. Electrician. Electric mirror drives often fail in electrical equipment. The radio with the CD changer and the air conditioner are problematic. The rain sensor does not work correctly. 